What's up guys, it's your boy H-Dog and I'm back here today with another video and uh, recently the news broke of Hawaii State Representative Chris Lee he's uh, got four bills proposed uh, against loot boxes which if you don't know already he uh, he's been a pretty big vocal advocate ever since the Star Wars Battlefront 2 controversy uh, against being against loot boxes and being pro gamer and pro consumer and uh, I'm gonna read you guys this article from I can't even pronounce this damn site It's called arstechnicia.com uh, it says no video game loot boxes for buyers under 21 say proposed Hawaii bills uh, state rep Chris Lee has helped spearhead the legislative effort against loot boxes in his state and others the Hawaii state legislature is now considering two sets of bills that would regulate games containing ran randomized in-game purchases commonly known as loot boxes much like casino games barring minors from purchase from purchase and requiring odds disclosures and public warnings uh, which pretty much means you know it would it would kind of help against it would kind of help combat uh, against kids who probably already at a young age have an addiction of uh, spending money or getting their parents credit card and maxing it out over the balance and stuff like that uh, I think something like that is pretty pretty fucking dope uh, but it's not set in stone yet they still have to vote yes on it uh, but the bills are one of them is the first one House Bill 2686 and it's accompanying, accompanying Senate version would prohibit retailers including those that operate online you know like digital games and stuff from selling games that include and quote a system of further pub purchasing a randomized reward or or rewards to anyone under 21 years of age and that pretty much and that pretty much is huge because if this was to get passed that would mean that would mean if any game that has that has you know pay to win uh, mechanisms like like Battlefront 2 did if it was to have them in their games that pretty much means that if you're under 21 that you won't that they would that people like EA would have to make it to where it's not pay to win or they won't they pretty much won't be able to release their game in stores because for people who's 21 years and up that's pretty much an adult's rating so and with an adult's only rating it cannot be sold anywhere in stores even let alone online stores so it would it would be a huge blow to EA and anybody else so I hope EA is paying attention and but if you ask me they ain't paying attention yet but when this shit hits the but when shit hits the fan, they gonna pay attention. Uh, anyway, moving on. Many U.S. retailers already prevent children under 17 from buying games rated M for mature or adults only by the entertainment by the ESRB. Those voluntary restrictions don't have the force of law, though. A landmark 2011 Supreme Court decision overturned state laws that attempt to search content-based age restrictions restrictions on First Amendment grounds. That decision would likely not apply to the commerce based restrictions in these bills though. Hawaii's House Bill 2727 meanwhile would require game publishers to publicly disclose the odds of obtaining specific items from randomized loot boxes in their games. Apple re already imposes a similar requirement on games on its iOS app store as it does in the 2017 Chinese law. Which pretty much, to me, that would have to disclose the odds of them getting a certain item in a loot box. Which I think if, I think the smart way for them to do it is not have the odds, like not just disclose the odds. Like say one box, it would kind of uh, tell you, okay, you got a 10% chance to get this item, 30% chance to get this. I think it would be much, much more fairer to the to the person opening the loot box if everything was 50-50 where you got a 50% chance to get everything in the game you know like 
it's not it's not always like a 30 15 chance I'd rather have it at, at a uh I would uh really think that they should have it to where it's fully disclosed and they could obtain items in the loot box 50 50 that would be the best concept though um the odds disclosure bill also allows the state department of commerce to audit the game code to confirm those odds much as existing state gambling laws allow full audits of slot machine code and bill 2727 would require a prominent easily le legible bright red label appear on the games with loot boxes or their online retail pages warning of in-game purchases and gambling like mechanics which may be harmful or addictive pretty much that sounds pretty much like uh what cigarette companies do how they're regulated because if i'm not mistaken when you buy a pack of cigarettes it will be on the box that this hey this contains nicotine and you know it could be bad for you um the Hawaii bills introduced over the last few weeks still need to make it out of committee and through the full house and senate before consideration by the governor psychological addictive and financial risk in arguing the need for legislation the bills text argues that modern loot boxes employ predatory mechanisms designed to exploit human psychology to compel players to keep spending money in the same way that casino games are so designed. Those randomized items offer the same psychological, addictive, and financial risks as gambling. The bill reads, offering items that can be often cashed out in online marketplaces. The legislation cites diagnosis from the American Psychological Association and World Health Organization of gaming's addictive properties. Unlike traditional card games or other games of chance, the ubiquitous reach of video games which require active lengthy participation and exposure to the psychological manipulation techniques of exploitative loot boxes and gambling like mechanisms prevents potentially harmful risks to the financial well-being and mental health of individuals and especially of vulnerable youth and young adults. The language mirrors previous statements from Hawaii legislator Chris Lee, who has been spearheading the legislative effort against loot boxes since late last year, and serves as co-sponsor co -sponsor on both House bills. Lee's effort has spread outside of Hawaii as well, with legislation introduced in Washington State and Indiana as well. But them ain't the only two states. I think it's about three or four other states that's joined the fight too. Uh, the ESA and industry trade group has said in previous statements that it considers loot boxes to be a voluntary feature that gamer let the gamer make the decision to enhance their gameplay experience translation loot boxes aren't gambling says that says the money that slid underneath the table to them by EA and Activision and the like the ESRB said in its own statement that while there's an element of chance in these mechanics, the player is always guaranteed to receive in-game content, even if the player unfortunately receives something they didn't want, which is complete bollocks or bullshit. Um, but yeah, after reading this, I do think either way, if EA ain't paying attention right now, Activision, if they're not paying attention right now, pay pay attention wake the fuck up smell the fucking coffee because i mean this and keep in mind chris lee isn't coming to kick down the door more like kind of strong arm into doing the right thing instead of a full government intervention but ea the ball's in your court all i gotta say because you need to respond to this if it passes what the hell y'all gonna do does not sell games in Hawaii or y'all gonna do something drastic and stupid and just ignore everything like you've been doing I mean even though they've sort of you know danced around the statements they haven't made a full on backup emergency plan for if in case when this shit hits the fan and I know there are some people who, out there who may say oh the fight against loot boxes will never be 
be won. It's an endless war. It's a pointless war. But honestly, it wouldn't surprise me if change didn't happen or did happen. But this, if this happens, if this goes into effect, it will be a domino effect of epic proportions. Uh, but with that being said, guys, what do you guys think about this? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you are you excited about the fact that Hawaii could be the first state in many states to pass legislation that prohibits the sale of in-game purchases, you know, a la microtransactions or loot boxes or not? Let me know down in the comments below if we can have a discussion and talk about it. If you enjoyed my video, smash that like button, subscribe if you're new, and tap the notification bell. That way you'll stay up to date anytime I upload a video. And until next time, guys, I'm out.